गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स होप यू आर ऑल डूइंग ग्रेट इन माई पास्ट वीडियोज आई हैव शोन ग्लिम्सिस ऑफ अ लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स दैट ऑल कम टूगेदर टू फॉर्म वेरियस शेड्स ऑफ माई लाइफ डी आई वाई प्रोजेक्ट्स केयरिंग फॉर द प्लांट्स डेकोरेटिंग डिफरेंट नुक्स एंड कॉर्नर्स रूम मेकओवर्स ऑर्गेनाइजिंग फंक्शनली अपसाइकलिंग थिंग्स प्रैक्टिसिंग योगा मेडिटेशन गोइंग आउट फॉर अ स्ट्रोल मेकिंग सम कॉफी एंड सो मच मोर Cooking has also been one of the many components that my vlogs are made of. Together, these different shades of my life form a complete video. However, I have shared smaller snippets of things I cook or bake. So this time I decided to dedicate this video to showcasing one of the most meditative activity slash hobby slash habit that I practice throughout the day multiple times in a day which is cooking Although this video is meant to show different things I happen to cook for different meals, but no two days are the same in my life when it comes to food. Indian food is like a vast ocean of recipes that can last a lifetime even if we cook a different dish each day. Sabudana is a simple yet flavorful dish where the sort of bland sabudana pearls or tapioca pearls as we call them in English become the carrier of tangy, sweet, nutty and spicy flavors that come from lemon, onion, peanuts and green chili respectively. Indian recipes are an all-rounder in the game of flavors and this recipe is a proof of just that. Morning breakfast is followed by some tea or coffee depending on what we are in the mood for. There isn't much happening usually between this and lunch other than grabbing a fruit every once in a while.
matches happen anywhere between 12 to 1 which can seem a little early but works for us since we tend to stay on time for our dinner this ways. making a straightforward chana dal, chapati and to go on the side effortless salad that's a sure short way of adding variety to the meal and some color too. Slightly different, I like to remove the core of cucumber and leave the skin on. A juicy dressing of lemon, pepper and black salt completes the dish. in a Bengali way and I hope I lived up to the recipe. That's the fun part of cooking. It's very forgiving. You can make additions or subtractions to modify the recipe to suit your palate. I have learned to enjoy the process of cooking over time but it got easier to do so only because I could make mistakes, could change things on the fly and have a lot to play around with. There are no rules here. Do what works best for you and suits your needs. You can make it as simple or as sophisticated as you wish without worrying about anything. I believe cooking a new recipe involves a lot more concentration and attention. 
and without realizing i end up freeing my mind of all the waste unnecessary thoughts focusing only on being creative trying to improvise trying to think ahead adapting the new recipe as per my need making the most of it with whatever i have and modifying it in a way that suits best to my ways of cooking all this and more is what cooking can do to you and your mind <laughs> They say time flies when you're having fun. Who would have thought that such a humble form of activity could require so much out of you? For a long time I had been underestimating the power of cooking. As you can see I've been trying to follow this new recipe that I came across for making butter chicken. To tell you the truth it was my SO who had been wanting this to be made at home. Oh well I thought let me give it a try after all. I looked up certain recipes and god knows why but I ended up choosing the most elaborate one out of all. <laughs> yes, I was super optimistic that day. <laughs> Having said that, I have to say I'm glad I chose this recipe. It's worth the effort. There are quicker and shorter versions out there, but this one if followed properly is a sure shot hit. I'll link the original recipe in the description box below. If you have tried cooking something new lately, then do share the name of the recipe and how your experience was like. Like I said before, we should consider cooking not as a mundane activity but a refresher course, something that has the capacity to empty our minds of all thoughts unworthy.
with that i will take your leave and see you next week with another quick excerpt from my life only here at home gap shop till then keep chatting keep creating and keep cooking see ya later folks